Hey there, what is this Chucky K? And let me get this screen out of the way real quick. Apologies if I'm a little bit annoyed. I haven't had the best of luck with Game and Chill recently. It's been a pretty bad time, honestly. This is like the third recording I've had. Because the past two, I've had issues with running out of space on my phone. This Pat Trap is being more annoying than Pat Traps normally are. Only freaking catching this bugger for this freaking Stardust. There we go. Into the ether to never be seen again. I said to be never seen again. Yeah, I had to pull myself away from the stream I was watching because I wanted to draw, I wanted to record, and it's already 10 o'clock. I'm gonna disappoint myself. There was, I was, could do things like box cleanup and that, but let me go over what I've been catching recently. And maybe if I get the time, I can showcase some of the things I've been doing beyond Pokemon Go, because there are other things I want to do. But there isn't a lot of time to... There's a lot to cram in between, like, three different days of recording session failures. Like, I went to... The day before I went to the hospital, I got this shiny little pup and I evolved it on screen and it would be all cool and dandy, but storage space made me run out of the recording. And the, the unfortunate thing was I had a stomach ache shortly after catching that little pup, but I swear it was unrelated to x-rays. There was no real reason for the x-rays to be perfectly up. Or, no real reason for... What I'm trying to say is the reason I got some stomach and the reason I had to go to the hospital are unrelated. And I didn't go to the emergency room or anything. When I say go to the hospital, I meant just go get some x-rays and... The only reason I really needed x-rays was because... My arthritis doctor... Just needed them because it's been a few years since I've last gotten an x-ray. So I just want the day I got this shiny here to get an x-ray, get my blood work, just get all the paperwork and labs that I need to get done for my next appointment. And I don't know if any either shinies are really that remarkable with the IVs and all, but I'm still pretty happy. It's, the scout lid especially turned out a lot nicer for shiny than I was expecting. Also, finally evolved myself an extra drill. A pretty darn good one, too. I haven't even powered this thing up at all yet. The funny thing, this one drill burr, you'll see because I'll see that I walked in a lot. <laughs> yeah, freaking 78 kilometer walker here. Not that great of IVs, but as you can see, I would not even need to ever worry about powering it up. If I were evolved. So I was walking this thing and like as soon as I was like six candies or so away, I plus myself that other drill burr. And it was so amazing I evolved it into the extra drill. And as you can see, I also finally finished up my Jirachi quest. I was actually fit sitting on the last mission for a while. But I never had a good time to do it. Oh man, and this thing. I was real salty about this thing because I actually caught it right at the end of the Game & Chill recording before I realized it didn't capture anything. Like, if I want, I could probably even still have my reaction to it because it was a recording that actually had my mic separate from the game. And of course, there was all these Mewtwo raids I did. I had two main goals from the Mewtwo raid day with the, the whole side strike Mewtwo and all. And that was to get a perfect attack Mewtwo that had decent IVs. And this one completes that goal. And to get a shiny. Be fair, this shiny is almost as good as a perfect attack one. So maybe I'll just power up these two. And that's a lot of candy starters to invest into things. Um, in all reality, I should like try to do Lucky Trade. Was well, like Psy Strike Mewtwo, save myself a little bit of Stardust. Possibly get a little bit better of the IVs. 
Eh, I got some time to figure it out. I don't think I'll need a psychic type Pokemon anytime soon, but Mewtwo is a real solid DPS option. Oh yeah, and like, I got myself a Shadow Hound Doom just from a Rocket Stout. That was pretty cool. Slowly trying to get candies for my Sinnoh Pokemon. I'm probably going over stuff that's already been in past game and shows at this point, but <laughs> I was actually sitting on this shiny Aerodactyl from a field research for a while because I got mixed up and I thought that it was a research. I thought the Drachi research required catching an Aerodactyl for some reason, so that was like a real pain and torture for a good hot minute. But thankfully, we persevere and we're able to get things worthwhile. I'm still working on getting a lit lit. But I actually was at least able to get a little bit candy from feeding this guy over here that's been sitting in the gym for a bit. No, I should be saving some of these pins for Trap Pinch Day. But at the same time, I think I'm gonna be okay with Trap Pinch Day. I already got my perfect IV one set out. Only other thing I would need more candies for evolving wise is the shinies and all that. I, I'm not going to talk too much about it here because I just uploaded a podcast where I talk about preparation works for Trap Pinch Community Day. But I do have this perfect IV fire bro that I've been sitting on since 2018 on the off chance there would be a Trap Pinch Community Day and this little baby's time is shine. It may not like outshine, I may not actually use it in there. Serious raid, only because like still gets outclassed by Groudon, and with things like Extra Drill in the mix now, there's a lot of competition from the ground type. AKA ground types still have a lot of improvement because the best ground types have Earthquake, which did not translate too well into Pokemon Go. Sword there was other things I want to talk about related to Pokemon Go, but. Trap Pinch Community Day is tomorrow, so maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit. It's all good in the books though, cause I got big plans for Trap Pinch Community Day, as I said in the podcast. I'm I think I'm gonna go up to the college that pretty much has the best spawn points out of anywhere I know in this game. Real excited to do that. It would have been nice to do it with a meta relevant Pokemon, which is why I was waiting to do go to the college for so long. However, I think it's okay, like, I'm pretty sure it'll work. Flygon may not be the most relevant thing, but it's something I would love to get a good shiny of, and the more shinies, the better chance of getting that good shiny Pokemon. So I'm okay with all that. And I guess some. I've been working on apartment hunting. One of the recordings I had, oh, freaking, I was just about to go to that apartment that I was eyeing. I did go to it, and the room itself was nice. I'm still on the fence of if I'm actually want to move into it, cause I found out some things about it after going through with it all. The I. It kind of panned out a little worse than I would have liked if I'm going to be per rank. Nothing wrong with the room itself, but the locale. Like, it was technically closer to work. I was going to overlook the fact that I was still like 20 minutes away from work. Until I thought more about it. And I'm still taking the brunt of the drive up to work. Like... The only time I'm saving is the part is the easy part of the drive. Cause like I gotta go down a road that gets real bad traffic at the end of the days and that's just not freaking fun to think about. And the other thing, like when I was reading the description of it, I got the impression that it came with free Wi Fi. Or at least it came with high speed internet. But no, it was just badly worded. To the point where you can buy high-speed internet in that particular area, which 
I mean, I didn't need anything to tell me that. You could just assume by where the area is. I just transfer these Raikus. I'm not gonna power them all up. Um, probably not even gonna worry about trading them, am I? Um, it sucks to get rid of the one that has Shadow Ball, but I can TM to it anytime I want, and... Still got plenty more to go stick around with. So yeah, um, on one hand, I'm glad I was actually able to do apartment hunting for once. That alone is an improvement from this rut I've been in a good chunk of my life. But I does feel like I'm just falling right back into the rut. That in and of itself is a little bit disappointing. Cause now I was really hoping to move out and actually push forward in life and now it feels like I'm back down to ground zero. Yeah, it'll work out one way or another though. You know, to be fair, I kind of needed a distraction at the moment. What do we got here? It's just another church wake. I don't normally... this feels weird to do, but I guess it would be a good excuse to actually transfer over to the other games I want to play. So I'm going to just skim through some of my past game show recordings, make sure, sure I didn't miss anything. And that way, if I do, I can just, like, come back and talk about it. That way, I don't have to worry about edit trying to salvage past gaming show recordings. Save myself a little time in that aspect. I may not be able to get back the time I lost doing the recordings. But I can at least, like, save myself some time with talking about everything here instead of going through the commentary of each of the failed recordings and making sure there's nothing I said that's worth. It makes more sense when you realize that I'm still going to try to upload those recordings even though they failed by just rolling random footage onto it. But if I can enrich everything into one video, that would ultimately save time because I wouldn't be editing two videos. That is what I'm really trying to say about it all. So, BRB. I did remember a couple things I want to talk about. Not the RIL stuff, but things I did gameplay-wise. Man, it was real dumb. Of course, when I get something this lucky, was when it failed. Essentially, I did a Fire 10 from this Peach Komodo set, and I had the best luck I've had with Mario Kart Tour yet. I'm not sure if there's really a good way to showcase what I got. Guess if I go to my driver archive show there. Yeah, with the 10 things I got, I got some, I guess, less remarkable things like Bonwig or Legwig. That ability seems kind of interesting and be f interesting to use them for a cart. Got Dry Bones, I got Baby Peach, got Toad. Here's the real kicker though. <laughs> From that single 10 set, not only did I get the feature character, <laughs> but I also got one of the high tier end characters, Pe Peachette. Sorry, internet still kind of is kind of phasey on my mine with the whole Peachette culture. Tempted to just do one. You no, know what? Let's do one. I guess I can't get. Actually, I should save my orbs. I can't really get another Peach out of that. I thought there was at least something pretty cool in the carts that I got too. Oh yeah, the barrel train. And I was talking about a bunch about how the nostalgia of that cart from. Mario Kart Double Dash is the thing. It makes up for the luck I had with Pokemon Master, to be perfectly honest, because... Uh, 
Oh, that held the recording. Yeah, that really stinks. I don't even have Pokemon Masters on my phone at the moment. I'm relying a lot on the Nintendo Club account backup system. Yeah, let me make sure I just got the rocket started. Oh, is, is it really giving me tutorial skin just because it's a new cup? The game doesn't remember that I've done this before already. Oi. That's the thing, though. I was doing a massive drawing set to try to get Hilda. Pretty much went through all my diamonds to try to get Hilda with no luck. And I did get a lot of characters through that. I think I still have, like, the phone recording of... Do they keep changing this challenge screen system every day or every week? Because it does sure feel that way. That's what I'm saying, though. I got a lot of stuff, but I did not have good luck with freaking Hilda. And I wouldn't know if any of the other characters I got in Pokemon Masters were good. I Like, a few of them were recognizable, but I don't know the whole Pokemon Masters meta. Don't have the game on my- don't play the game enough to actually know for sure. Still, at least I had good luck in a mobile game. It's just a freaking shame that, that whole game and show session didn't work out, because... Yeah, I could have actually used it. What even is Kimono Peach special? You would think it'd be the same as Peach, but you never know with the way these mobile games work set up works. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Wait, oh yeah, this weird thing is her special. This is a really weird special. It really feels like a double-edged sword to me. Like you shoot the mushrooms ahead so you can like get what you shoot out. But you do leave a lot of opportunity for your opponents to actually use your own power-ups too, so I'm not really sure what to make out of that. I think I have a soft, soft spot for the way that Peach's power-up works, but eh, it is what it is. You know, can I even get the Econ from that set? Because it might be worth it. And you don't really... I guess when I think about it, you do get... you might get a slight discount. For doing 10 at a time because it's 45, so it's definitely not a multiple of 10. So we'll see. Let's try this again and see if I use it any better this time. Oh, yeah, it's impossible to actually like get all the mushrooms because you pretty much dash right by one as you use it. So, yeah, I'll like find like some soft spots in my commentary that up footage of just what I've got in Pokemon Masters because I don't really feel like re-downloading it just to showcase my characters for a brief second at the moment. And you know, speaking of things that would be nice to re-download, Dr. Mario World... You see, if my phone had freaking more space, or I had a way to listen to my videos without like downloading things for YouTube Premium, then maybe I wouldn't have to worry about freaking managing my space because these mobile games take up a lot of space on my phone and I don't got the max end of space that a cell phone normally has. The original thing was because I was going to get an iPad for recording and my phone for personal things but that never gone through because like I was not really having the fun this time. With my phone, to be perfectly honest, like, I think I've been over this before, but. And I'm like, one cell phone issue away from swapping over to Android. Like, the only reason I haven't swapped over to Android yet is money. And I don't want to buy a new phone just because I'm salty with <laughs> all the inconveniences that this Apple phone has had on me. Like, making. Saving recordings onto my computer, way more complicated than it has ever had a right to be. Indeed. So, now that I've spent freaking forever complaining about all the problems with my cell phone, 
What else is there to talk about? I guess work has been going okay. I was in a... I was a bit behind with work in general, because it's basically like one person, me, doing the work of that usually consists of two or more people, but I've kind of a little bit more help lately. Not like a full-on person like I'm used to, but people like from other parts of my team coming by every now and then to help me out. out. So I'm caught up and I'm actually able to start working on some parts of my job that I never normally get a chance to get around to. Yes, hold on. I got... Oh, thank God. I think that's the first blue shell I've seen. I was just thinking like, man, I fell behind and I really need to get back to first place and then I see that freaking blue shell. I'm like, uh, no, no. I'm perfectly content with the second place. Just far enough to snipe away first after they get hit by a blue shell distance. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna take another break. It'll give me a chance to jump over to Fire Emblem Heroes and hopefully reduce the audio lag I've been having and give me a chance to like make sure, think about any other topics I want to talk about in this game and show. B R B. Oh, cool. Yeah, I forgot that there was actually a new summon added recently, so. I mean, we can actually showcase summoning in this after all, because one of the other things from a lost recording session was just how much I've been drawing in the Halloween section of FE Heroes. Unfortunately, I don't really got anything good to showcase from all of that. I was gonna say, it's mo mostly green haired girls like this gal. I'm surprised you're not new, but. Cause you're five stars and you look important. Rather than lament what you do not possess, you should treasure what you do. Oh, isn't that a model for this game if I ever heard one? <laughs> Speaking of which, I guess I'll go into why is Apple trying to get me to like things? Like I would rate things more often, but that requires that usually requires putting more personal info into the reviews than I like. So I guess I can manage my barracks and... Nah, it's probably be safer to go to like, edit teams. Cause I wanna showcase what I've gotten. However... I haven't really gotten anything good. And I think like, anything left over from the cleanup might be a good indication. I think these were actually- these girls are actually from Tempest Trial, so... She- they don't even count. One more song then. Yeah, you are definitely from Tempest Trial. You... I don't think I summoned you. Yeah, out of everything I've gotten recently, <laughs> and this I just got now, that was all I thought was worth saving. So, yeah. And I'm not sure if you've been paying attention to past FE hero draws, but I'm pretty sure I was at least in the 300, maybe even 400 orbs before. I spent a lot of orbs trying to get Halloween characters. I had like five golden tickets and a free draw. And still got no Halloween characters. And to be fair, I spent burnt most of my tickets trying to get a good set of this that I actually had res to work with. Like so. So I guess we'll draw a few more to round it out. Maybe now we'll actually get the good character on screen. I'm still salty about catching that feral stream, that, that feral seed, on a game and show recording, and yet not being able to do any, not actually have capturing on film. I have my reaction, which is more than I usually get with a shiny Pokemon Lux Fest, but it is what it is. I know it's weird to talk about this stuff when I had a section for Pokemon Go before, but do you really want to see me go back to Pokemon Go and just like cl clean out my box? Or do you want to see something that actually has a little bit of music and action going on in the background? <laughs> Your choice. I'll probably go back to Pokemon Go before the silver just to see if any new spawns have popped up, though. 
But yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna get anything that great out of this particular session either. I'm surprised I'm actually going through with the whole thing. My gut is probably telling me I should focus my orbs in the red, because that's the character I really want out of it. You know, that reminds me, look, as soon as I finish up this set, wow, I really get two phase in one summoning session. Is one of the special characters a dragon girl? Because that would be a good omen for that to come, if nothing else. Come on, let's get something good out of this last one. You're not a special banner, but you definitely look good. You look new, and you're five stars. Yay! I will settle for it. Promise me that we'll both live through this. Huzzah! Unfortunately, that probably means I've got to go for another twenty to sixty characters before I actually get a special ca banner character out of it. But I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I get. Well, I get all these red orbs, and so with that for today. And I'm gonna probably need to spend some time, like, getting my orb count back up if I have any hopes to actually get the howling characters from it. But, I mean, it's been so long since I've done summoning sessions. I haven't really summoned any heroes since that last recording session. Ugh, ugh, ugh. You scare me, my good sir. Uh, no, I have seen no tiki's. I am not just saying that. Because I don't want you anywhere near that young girl or young woman, depending on the timeline, in any shape or form. I mean, I got two new heroes out of something session. That's <laughs> certainly something in and of itself. I don't know. I haven't played the game. As far as I know, he could have a great personality. But just from that little screenshot, he just gives me the impression that he wants to capture Tiki and... For his own reasons. That's probably, I probably already made that sound worse than it actually was. And I guess I never done Hall 4. Oh, I did it once off screen. Because I didn't think I actually do it in the game show. This is an interesting gameplay mechanic. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do much with it. Essentially, like those four characters I have up there, the game gave them to me by default. And I pretty much have to level them up and give them new skills and abilities by just playing for the chapters. You basically get level off off these characters, but you don't get SP. Instead, you like they choose a character for you to level up at the end of every round here. And it's interesting to say at the least. I'm not sure how much time I'll spend on it. It'll probably depend on how good the rewards are. I'm on it. Let's go. And it's no Tempest Trial. There's a Tempest Trial Plus coming up from my scene in the game, so I'm pretty sure the majority of my What's next? grinding time is going to be spent on that, because that's just like... A, Tempest Trials are... I'm not sure if I've ever talked about it in Game Show, but Tempest Trials are just so easy to okay. grind out, multitask, okay. whatever you possibly want. Because you just like, start a Tempest Trial, hit all the battle, and as long as you don't have bonuses, which like you do the first couple runs through, but eventually you just like... Go through over and over and over, and just eventually get through them all. Eventually you can just like hit auto and go through all like four or five battles without any sort of effort at all. Well, this is over a half hour recording session, <laughs> so um, I think I talked about everything I wanted to do in life, so I'm gonna just jump back over to Pokemon. If I remember to cut that out. I'm gonna just jump over back to Pokemon Go real quick, see if there's any new spawns, and finish it up there. Ending off on Pokemon Go will allow me to remember to actually turn off the sound for when I'm actually walking and playing the game during Community Day tomorrow. Real excited, I hope I get all the Shiny Trap Pinch. I hope I get tr more Shiny Trap Pinch out of this event than I have in any other community day combined. Not only because Trap Pinch is one of my favorites, it might be cool to have a Metal Relevant Shiny with good IVs. But it's all cool in my opinion. I just really want to get enough Shiny Trap Pinch to make up for the time lost during Ralph's community day. 
because as I've probably said on the podcast, I did have to leave that like half an hour, an hour early due to family events that were already scheduled for that day. I was lucky to even get those two hours or so that I did with Ralph's Community Day, but I really liked that shiny, so I felt bad about like cheesing myself out of it. So my goal is to get more tra shiny trap pitch to make out for it, make up for it. In fact, let me scroll through my shinies to see which one of these have the most stuff. This is not the most accurate way to do it, because I have had to release some shinies, and I really should release some of these low IV shinies. Ugh, but it's so cool looking. To save myself box space. Granted, with the, like, I know I'll have plenty of box space for the community day coming up. But part of my goal to get back down to 1100, clearing out some shinies would definitely be an easy way to do it. Let's see, you know, I think I like routes. I'm trying to remember which community I had the most shinies from, but it's hard because I'm pretty sure any community I got a lot in. I transferred them already. Plus, there's an issue that, like, some of these shinies I probably got outside of their initial community day. I probably got some of these shinies during the December Community Day as well, but let's just go with- Let's just assume that Larvitar is the most shiny luck I've had. That would be like... Not including the ones that I traded for, obviously. It'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 seems like about- not the average, but when I think of Pokemon I have the most shinies of, I can't think of it in any case. They ever had more than 10 shinies of it. So that's gonna be my goal in Trap Pitch Community Day, to get over 10 shinies. That feels like an ambitious goal for me, especially because lately isn't, there isn't really as many shinies to work around with as usual. But hey, I'm going to an area that I, don't, that I know gets more spawns than the places I usually go for Community Day, and they'll be just as lured up, if not more so, than that area. So that gives me a good gut feeling that I'll be able to get my shiny count down. Or be able to get my shiny count up to the goal I desire. I'll be sure to let you know on the podcast how that actually goes though. Anything else I want to do before ending it off for real? Mm. Well, I'm just gonna scroll through the, this real quick, see if I can, like, get, clear my box out just a little bit more. I'd like to get down to 1100 just for the sake of it, but that requires, like, going into shinies. Like, I definitely could release some shiny Marie, but I really don't want to. Like, these are, these are my favorites, but, like, I'm not gonna use that. And why would I get rid of B-Day Community Day? Like, my first shiny from the Community Day celebration. This one I could probably get rid of because it's not good IVs. I have, if I wanted to trade, try to get a lucky shiny, then I have better options. But I don't really have the heart to do more than one shiny. Oh man, Pokemon Bank just needs to come out so I can just like dump all of my extra shinies into that, so I at least have them somewhere. Let's go is a fair option, but the fact that Gen 1... Oh my god, this is a lot of shinies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... And I know I've definitely transferred some of those. So yeah, that's probably the most. Like, I definitely don't need all these Mewtwo's, but... I know I have... Mewtwo is a well sought out Pokemon, there's definitely some rarities to it. I definitely know at least a couple friends who need some. I already promised at least one friend that I trade for a side strike Mewtwo, and I promised another friend that I have never had an opportunity to meet up in person yet to that I trade on at least one Mewtwo. I just can't get rid of my Mewtwo's yet. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think after this point, it's just a matter of which ones I want to transfer to let's go and which ones are not worth that effort so 
and ending it off here. Thanks for tuning in to my rambling. I didn't quite get this down as much as I could, but I'm sure, like, if I really wanted to, I could. Like, if I just... I don't need all these alone right shoes, but I want to make sure I have one for PvP. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I am planning on going to go to a local tournament. It's not until the end of the month. But I really should, like, finalize this team and power it up. It's just a matter of when I want to actually do that. I'm not really looking forward to powering up that routes. Because I actually do have a PvP Garvor already, specifically from Community Day and all of that. But of course, after we got Sacred Noise, after I did all that investment and only used it for one tournament where I pretty much that, that tournament was a mess because my mind was not in the right place and I don't think my team was well prepared. Of course then, Psychic gets the boost and Sacred Noise, I don't even know if it's worth having anymore. See, Sacred Noise has a power of 80 and Psychic... One of these Mewtwo's have got to have... Well, they're all going to have... Shoot, they're all going to have Psy Strike. Just because... Oh yeah, Psychic is 90 power and defense drops in PvP, and yet Sacred Noise is a special exclusive Community Day move. It only has 80 power and has no extra benefit. So I can't even think if it's worth having a Sacred Noise Garvor for competitive purposes anymore. Yeah. On top of like going through and finalizing this team, I probably should figure that stuff out too. With it almost being 11, and how I haven't even done any drawing yet, there's another fun notion. I've been doing sketches at work because I never give myself enough time to draw at home, just like on my work breaks, and that has been working out pretty nice. I'll probably share some on Twitter if I haven't already. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here, because this has been the longest Game & Chill recording session. It's, and it's already late. It's a Friday night, sure, but I was hoping to get a few other things done than what I've actually been working on. So I'll see you all for the next one. Take care.